Hey everyone, welcome to Ink Feats, where we feature feats of ink. Yay! <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to talk talk about my experience with uh, what's that book called? It's called The Dragon Bone Chair by Tad Williams, and I thought it would be kind of cool to see what my predictions are and what and how they are different than what comes out in the book. Um, first of all, I am liking the the character Simon. I know that <laughs> he's supposed to be kind of uh, infuriating or kind of like a brat, but like that's what you get with kids his age, with young men his age. What was it? A quote from the book like uh, other boys his age should be or are or, or wanting to shoulder the responsibilities of older men. And I'm like, dude, don't not and he's got the right idea was like hey it's okay <laughs> we got time <laughs> but i really like how <clears throat> mysterious his birth is so far by the way i'm about seven chapters in uh i'm listening to it on audio and i'm having a, a bit of a bit of a different experience with it like um usually with audiobooks you don't get that music in the background. I don't know if you know the audiobook that I'm talking about, but in that, in this audiobook that I'm listening to, uh, it has music in the background all the time. And now I understand why there's only music in audiobooks, like at the beginning of chapters or the end of chapters. Cause I used to think, oh, that'd be cool. Like listen to these sound effects. I like all this music, but it's actually a little bit distracting. Despite that, I really liked uh, this first few chapters of Dragon Bone Chair. Um, I love the world and stuff, and I can definitely see like the whole Green Angel Tower. It reminds me so much of Bran from Game of Thrones. You know, um, like Simon climbing up there and finding his own little plays, and then Bran also is a climber. So it's it's kind of neat that. Uh, Martin took that element because climbing up high is exhilarating. I don't want to do it, but if you got a character that can do it, then that's great. <laughs> um, other predictions that I have, I of course, Simon is going to be, He's he's got a mysterious birth, so he's obviously going to be like somewhat important, um, probably part of the the little people. I think Morgan Knees is actually part of one of the little people or because he keeps emphasizing that they're not little <laughs> they're not little people I'm like hmm defensive much I think so so that's what I think is going to happen Rachel is amazing she <laughs> I like how her arch enemy is disorder <laughs> same same Rachel I mean you can't see in the background you see, I got a clear, I got a clear counter over here, <laughs> but I don't, oh my gosh, Rachel, I like it, I like it, but she could be a little bit more patient with the boy because he's just a boy, and I know that maybe manhood should come sooner for people at this age, and even for with the 1980s, like manhood, like adulthood came earlier than, than, than now. But it's just so funny to see that him interacting with her and and it, it's a nice comfy feeling because, okay, I know what's going on here as this matriarch is getting after this young man. Okay. Um, and I think that's really all that is going on. I mean, the, the two princes, the brother Elias and Joswear? Joswear? I don't know. Is that how you say it? Joswear. Uh, they're interesting. I like their dynamic because, of course, who um, who doesn't like friction between characters that they have to figure out and solve? Uh, and as for... Oh, I just... I don't know. I guess I just really liked that climb up Green Angel Tower more than I thought I did. Because <laughs> I keep thinking about it. And it's just, oh, the apprenticeship between Morganese and Simon 
was is great. I love that whole Merlin uh, apprenticing, excuse me, apprenticing with a wizard trope. That's awesome. Like I just, there's so many good things that older people can give us and <laughs> like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, those are my predictions. Simon's someone special. Morgan is a little person, not little person. And Rachel is amazing. All right. Bye.